Hi guys, this is Asaf, Asaf Vlogger Triple Nine YouTube channel. Please subscribe my channel and like and comment comments also, please. So now start. So in this video we are tell to you about how to fix cooling in your car. If AC working but low cooling, so in this video I will show you. So now. I already open one compressor this is sensor compressor so you can see very easily so in this video we learn how to improve pumping of compressor so this is compressor so now I open this solenoid well you see this is very stuck so I use WD-40 for this purpose so after I take one lock prior and now I open sometimes this is very stuck but sometimes open easily so now you see this is lock okay so now I take plier also now I take wire plier so I am working in garage now in front of you so first I try with screwdriver so when he move little bit up then I use plier So this is plier, grip little bit move and remove easily. This is remove easily but sometimes it is very difficult. Some people say oh this is very easy and very slightly coming outside. So this is the hole where we fix solenoid well. So uh, now I go and buy a new one solenoid well from the shop. So now I tell to you also about this. In cars before coming uh, normal compressor, normal mean uh, clutch compressor they uh, they in the compressor have electromagnetic clutch so when we turn on the ac so current come in a magnetic flux and that time coming magnetic that and uh, clutch is activate so this is my colleague also working in this workshop he is coming and asking what is this and that he is also joking so now he go and he go also so uh, come back to the point I tell to you before clutch compressor coming too many uh, too many cars so clutch compressor actually work with magnetic flux so when we turn on the AC uh, current come in magnetic uh, coil that time uh, uh, electromagnetic field create and the clutch activate so then mm, clutch is activated that time uh, compressor start to work and uh, start to pumping also so that type compressor is magnetic or uh, clutch type compressor so nowadays uh, coming a sensor type compressor same like this sensor what is actually what is the sensor sensor is actually solenoid valve this is also uh, have this work like a switch when we turn on the AC current coming in solenoid valve and he provide the way are like this so in this uh, 
compressor actually this compressor is uh, uh, not a rotary compressor this compressor is a piston type compressor so two type of compressor also one rotary type and one piston type the rotary type compressor take a little power from the engine but the com piston type compressor uh, piston mean uh, reciprocating motion in this compressor so this power uh, this compressor take a little bit more power with the comparison of rotary compressor so this compressor also little bit uh, size bigger than uh, rotary compressor so i know if some person don't know about uh, automobile technology or about compressor this video is very boring for him but uh, if somebody interested then very easy uh, easy for him to understand the technology in ac system or automobile technology so i make a further video also for uh, information for basic and everything because i want to share my uh, knowledge and my experience with you so what is uh, what is the compressor basically compressor is the ba uh, backbone of ac system so all ac system working around this compressor so cooling system how many component in cooling system i will tell to you the first uh, compressor after uh, uh, ac hoses and uh, ac condenser and receiver dryer and expansion valve and uh, And the last component is evaporator or freezer somebody call freezer somebody say evaporator these component when uh, we fix together this is the layout of ac system compressor condenser expansion valve and evaporator these four basic parts and some uh, some cars also switch and Uh, automatic switch fix on the houses are like this so now i come and i bring the new solenoid valve you can see this is new solenoid valve so now i wear the gloves you can see this is not only for corona when i work normally see so excited mood <laughs> so when i working normally in mechanic or uh, any electrical work i wear mask and gloves also like this in front of you you can see so now i uh, again if little bit oil inside the compressor i remove a drain and you can see so now all oil removed from the compressor in compressor have one bolt when we open before i already remove that bolt and drain all oil so now i take a clean cloth not a dirty one and i clean the whole of solenoid valve because uh, should we need to clean because now we fix new solenoid valve if we no clean then uh, the solenoid valve have rubber o ring so chance to damage the o ring also so that's why now i clean so now i take a cleaning agent spray cleaning agent spray so now i clean the hole with spray if you have gasoline or petrol like this you can clean also with petrol but i use because now a good quality work that's why i use spray so now clean this one
now we take oil this oil also and the eight oil so now i put solenoid o-ring with oil for lubrication when we fix the valve so we put oil for safety precaution when we fix no cut the o-ring also you can see now i fix with compressor and press press just finish now the solenoid valve is fixed so my colleague <laughs> called me now i go with him because they need some help so that's why i go there for helping because he remove a big battery hybrid battery the hybrid battery is very heavy weight so one person is nothing possible to move from the vehicle so that's why he called me and i go with him for helping so now i remove that battery so in future i make a hybrid technology video also because uh, that time i will show you battery is very big size battery so now this is the lock this lock and I take a lock player see and fix after the same place before I remove so now I fix after the fix I will check also this proper fixing or no fixing So now it takes screwdriver and little 5 inch rod for testing. See, this is properly locked or no. Okay, this is properly locked. No any issue. Done. So now we are already changed the solenoid valve from the compressor so now this is little key special for the compressor oil filling compressor oil filling key so in this compressor used ND8 oil so now I go and take the ND8 oil I searching right left <laughs> If because my oil is finished, so I take from my colleague. So I will tell you uh, this also because this normal compressor we use ND8 compressor oil, and the hybrid vehicles we cannot use the ND8 oil. We can use ND11 oil for the hybrid vehicles because in hybrid vehicles compressor is the lifetime guarantee. It's a very very sensitive compressor and the, the quality also is a very high quality compressor. So we cannot take a risk about this. So this is this compressor is normal compressor, so that's why we use ND8 oil. This is ND8 oil, you see. So now only putting like this, I have measuring bottle also. We check and uh, the calculation that time I fill this oil also because if I put directly. So I cannot uh, understand how many milliliters I feel the oil. So this is my wearing bottle. So now I fill in this oil. So now I remove only compressor. So I feel only 30 to 40 percent. See. But I put little bit more because 50 percent only. Because after uh, when we fix the oil circulate with condenser and evaporator also see this only 50 percent oil i put oil in compressor see. 
so now oil go inside remove the key so this is the bowl to fix again back So properly check. I don't want to mistake because if we know uh, properly uh, close this bolt after oil, all oil come outside and leakage oil leakage after damage the compressor also. So don't want to make mistake. Very carefully work this automobile feed and very expensive the compressor also check again <laughs> with hand power <laughs> finish that's all so now we uh, have compressor work is complete and the ready to fix so now I ready the place of compressor Now I prepare the mounting of compressor. So now I take torch and I fix the stud for the compressor because this in this car have two studs for the compressor. So now I want to show but uh, there is very odd okay now I take gloves and uh, I put stud in compressor mounting I will tell you about this car this car from 2017 Camry normal Camry this car have 2.5 liter engine and 7 speed transmission a very beautiful car a very luxury also a big passenger cabin inside and a very comfortable car also In this car automatic climate control facility also available cruise control and and many other features also so now if it's compressor because I work in uh, normal in Camry have also too many uh, model coming uh, normal Camry and full option a uh, normal like this so full option have uh, sunroof also but in this Camry no has sunroof so I give you another information if somebody is uh, don't know about cars and uh, automobile field so something I will share with you because every person have a good dream every person have to dream own house and own car a very nice look car but not to every person know about the cars because but somebody have money but he go in showroom and purchase one car but he don't know anything about cars because after uh, after long time if something is problem they go garage and mechanic tell anything and uh, he accepted and uh, make 
because if you have car you should be know about that car not of too much but you know the parts of cars and the function of cars so now i fixing the compressor and i will uh, i will tell you what is, uh, what as the name of the car when you see in front of uh, in front side of the cars you you can see two headlights if some car have fog lamps the downside have two fog lamps the front bumper also so grill also and the bonnet are hood when you open bonnet you can see engine transmission radiator and coolant reservoir these are the basic things every driver should be know about this so normal tire rim wheel cover and the right side after the bumper from right side is the front panel and the left side is the left panel front left front panel four door wind when um, door window wind screen and roof normally every person know the runner panel down side of the door it's called runner panel rear side is the diggy rear bumper tail lights these are the normal names you should be know about the cars because when you go on spare part shops so if you know about the names then you can easily found your parts also so now i fixing the compressor i use air um, air gun for uh, sorry pneumatic gun, pneumatic wrench for tightening of the compressor bolt this compressor have four a uh, two bolt and two nuts after the fixing this compressor have two electrical connection also one for solenoid valve and one for sensor of uh, compressor sensor also so now i fix electrical one actually this uh, this car complain is no a good cooling so when the driver give me the cars i take this car and i uh, come in my lift and i put the machine because i have a machine for checking ec system also some normal garage no have like this machine but i have machine but normal garage use normal gauges for checking of ec i use also gauges but but in this machine available each and every each and everything features from the ec system i use in this machine if you want compressor pumping checking yes available in this machine have high pressure gauge and on the compressor uh, compressor pumping gauge also two gauge also available and in this machine we use vacuum and uh, we can uh, recover the gas filling the gas and check of uh, test for leakage of gas like this and we can remove a compressor oil also with this machine and uh, we can fill also compressor oil with this machine i will show you next when i put the vacuum in this car because now i fixing the compressor and now i fix the compressor hose also one high pressure pipe and one low pressure pipe after the fixing that pipe see now i fixing first uh, putting oil 
for the uh, lubricating of o-ring after I fix the pipe so then I fix the pipe after we put the vacuum I will show you when I start the machine and that time gauge is working and show the vacuum also so automobile industry is a very big field so if you see in all over the world every country have a lot of transportations vehicles and each and everything so nowadays if i say without automobile is nothing possible we cannot survive our life so this is not uh, wrong if i say so now i fix the belt drive belt also because this compressor driving by belt with from the engine so now i fix the drive belt with compressor actually three things driving take power from the engine one alternator second water pump and third one is the compressor so these three things is very important important also because alternator or generator is generate the electricity for the vehicle and the pump is just like if i say ac system compressor is the backbone of ac system same like this engine in the engine if i say the water pump is the backbone of the engine nothing wrong because engine is a lot of temperature inside so should be need to cooling system also so that's why engineer fix the cooling pump with the engine but this uh, some water pump drive with the gear but in this system drive with the belt see this is the machine have to gauge and i fix the time also how much i fix uh, vacuum so now i fix only 5 minutes for the vacuum and just push start so you see the gauge is coming down from the vacuum side so now vacuum is start and i fix the other component in this time the technician life is like this opening checking which part is damaged replace so now if it's this is the radiator fan shut out i uh, i think somebody called me again i go there so this is my my lift uh, in the corner so i work with very peacefully no disturbance just i fix so now i will show you this is shroud or with fan motor also in this shroud have two fans one for radiator fans and one for the cooling system ac cooling system so it's called ac fan motor so now i fix the fan so my uh, other colleague also coming and he asking for the work so he asking the other guy what he can do or no after that he coming and asking me
but we already finished near to finish the job he asking me what happened this car i tell him just finish i put already with you so now you fix in the other thing also okay after okay he go so i will tell you before uh, the driver come for not good ac working because sometime working sometime no working i put this car in my lift and i put machine also and check what is the problem when you see this car is uh, working cooling but um, working uh, ac but not properly so when i diagnose the fault so uh, when i see that time the pumping is sometime not properly sometime working sometime not working so because if the pressure is 30 and middle to 40 if above 40 or 40 then you understand the compressor is the problem not compressor but you open the compressor and you see oil of compressor if oil is good it's mean compressor is okay no problem and you can see the cylinder belt so same like it this car i change uh, cylinder belt only i check oil oil is okay so i change only cylinder belt and fix back no no i fix the reservoir uh, i tell you before the res- oh, coolant reservoir tank so this is a uh, cooling reservoir tank i fix already in front of you so this uh, actually this purpose is extra water for the radiator because sometime if uh, water coming low in the engine that time radiator take water from this reservoir tank reservoir mean uh, extra water for the cooling system if you no have extra water that time and the engine is some leakage are like this so they need inside the water but if you no have reservoir tank then chance to damage the engine so that's why engineer fix this uh, reservoir tank for extra water so now i fix the radiator upper hose i know this video is little bit is boring but this is only uh, learning or share my experience i cannot put music in background or like this this is i will show you my personal work and personal experience about automobile so now you can see the vacuum is finished so now i setting again and charge the ac gas also so now i fix the up per cover of radiator so now i see the condenser if dirty then need to clean so now before i remove the cool link from the radiator because i remove the upper ho- <coughs> radiator upper hose so that's why i remove little bit coolant for removing the upper hose from the radiator so now i fix the radiator upper hose pipe then so now i put the coolant so little bit more i put the water also finish 
Now I check the engine oil level and start the car. Now start the car. As you can see, I will show you in the gauge the compressor pumping showing in this gauge. See, the gauge is near to 30 so now i fix the new solenoid valve it's mean now the valve and compressor is good working now so now i check with torch driver ac fan motor radiator fan motor and the upper hose from the radiator if something is leak or no because i remove before these things so you check properly if you need you check double triple check but don't make mistake because when we leave the car the car going on the road so if something is mistake then disturbance for the driver or the customer this is very bad so before if you want to scale work then this is good for you and the customer also you check double check no problem but you check properly so now i check uh, the pipe so now uh, ac and compressor is good working so i remove the high pressure pipe also so when i remove the high uh, high side pipe so equalize the ac system also this is the very best option in this machine for equalizing because when we filling the AC gas charge in the AC system so some gas is uh, remaining in the pipe also so equalize mean uh, equal and properly filling gas in the AC system so after equalize after equalize you remove the low low pressure pipe also and fix back in the machine so let's see now i check with cooling one more thing when you make the ac you should be cleaning the ac filter also because you make each and everything very nicely and you know clean the AC filter also and or you know check the AC filter are dirty so no air coming in the passenger cabin so you should recheck the AC filter if dirty just clean when you clean the filter then you fix back because if the filter is clean or okay so air is properly coming in passenger cabin because sometimes customers don't know he say just uh, no AC working no AC working but the actually is the filter block when the filter is blocked the air is not coming in passenger cabin just like this so my colleague is again coming and again just joking he is very uh, interesting person because he see i make video he come again again and check <laughs> how we make a video so other person also working in this garage i i tell you all already i my lift is the corner side so that's why i am fix camera in one place so now my ac job is complete just now i fix the sheet clip also because i removed before the radiator upper sheet clip so now i fix that clip also
so one more things because now uh, nowadays uh, 17 18 19 model new cars have uh, halogen bulbs sorry not a halogen but this bulb is a HD bulb like this so very nice and light result in this car because before halogen bulb is using that bulb is just like a uh, heat producing bulb not a good visibility also so in 1890-20 also coming the LED light also in headlight that and that light is very beautiful because more not a red type light the light is coming white so the white light is very beautiful for the driver and the customer you can see I check again and again belt pipe and any leakage of cooling system so guys if you want to check anything you should be learn first about that things because if you don't know anything and you want to open and closing so maybe danger for you because you don't know how to remove the belt but if you try removing the belt then maybe something is damaged and danger for you also so now you see I fix the uh, I put the date also one part of the engine for what because I date I make this AC system in this date for checking how many years this AC system is work so just like uh, just putting just for inspection because if next time if this uh, car is problem so we check which time we make this AC system so this is not expensive just only a change only on solenoid valve and fit back each and everything same not a new one so if you know the real part and you know the about cars so you can save your money also so now i check again inside the cabin is here properly going or not going so now this car is struck AC system is working so now I go for thermometer I want to check the how much the reading in AC system the cooling system how much is the reading is coming so I go for searching thermometer and I fix that thermometer is the AC uh, vent hole AC vent hole so and after I check what is the temperature in vent hole So when I check the temperature is very low so that's why I take the thermometer coming in front of a radiator fan water because the radiator is very hot so I want to little bit temperature is up because if the temperature is going up after I put the AC vent hole and check the reading of AC system so I want to tell you after I fix this thermometer the temperature is 8 point something so it's mean 
the temperature is 8 degree centigrade only 8 7 8 like this so the very very excellent AC working in this car after change only solenoid so guys please share this information you can see now 4.4 centimeters 6.8 like this because when I remove the thermometer like this